denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, Bullet Crew. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. Yeah. Loudest pro sports venue I have ever heard of. John, they get so excited to watch a fight. Look, man, when you go to Montreal, it's a great city, but it's cold. People are going to the arena not only for the fights, but to escape the snow. And once they get there, they are screaming and going absolutely crazy. This is a great fight environment. Effective strike there by Lee. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Real quick leg. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Strikes K. 
continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Punch over the top. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Nice right in. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hand punch from the clinch. That knee might have landed there. It's such a fast leg kick. And he caught the kick. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now, it's okay. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, feet on the hips here. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down from around his deck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Big punch lands over the top. Osborne follows. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Hey, stop! All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. We've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to go out. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. I mean, he's cutting it down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. 
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Good stick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Sneaky head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And a miss with the right hook. Changes his stance. Nice punch there. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer in there. to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Lunges forward with a left there. Trying to double up on that jab. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee's nose is cut. And it is bleeding. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And they separate. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big leg kick land. Oh, that left hand is on point. What a body kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice leg kick land. Able to check that kick as well. Great punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh! Both guys landing with conviction now. How about those five minutes? Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. 
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big leg kick land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movements. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Leg and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, big punch land. Oh, big head kick land. Nice. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. with the right hand. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Oh, nice shot there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big body kick land. Back and forth we go here. playing with fire. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Straight right hand now just misses. Big kick land. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. And now he's got a first bad. Look at him. 
by the shin into his own body with that body kick. What a round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Cool in DC. They put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good punch, Lance. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick. Tried to go to the body, but I right, able to take down here. Now we'll see what he can do. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch, finally. Trying to kick the leg out. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh! And they separate. Big kick. Under two minutes to go. Just out of range with the straight left hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Nice straight punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Lee's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Caught that kick there. Final minute to go here in round four. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. That was a thudding leg kick. Head kick. Lands the right.
right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Twenty seconds left. Lands flush with that right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie. Nice. 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 Now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Ooh, what a punch. Right punches there. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Need to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, it's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Right hand punch to the clinch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Ooh, big shot land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Great punch landing with so much power. Hand there. Powerful leg kick land. Oh man. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Way to hide that leg. Back and forth we go! And he switches his stance yet again. 
gets caught for that punch. Liver nice kick. combination of kicks. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and he caught the kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. How about that shin? 30 seconds to go. Nice punch lands over the top. 20 seconds to go. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Big power shot there. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly.